the most immediate way in which AI can actually act in the world is through APIs, effectively, right? But let's not forget that today, even after 20 plus years of like Web2, most APIs are not open to the world. Most APIs are not described in the world. So that's one big challenge here. Like, how do we open with confidence these APIs? And that is related to the second challenge. The reason why most APIs are not open is because there are serious security concerns around if I open my API, will bad things happen when machines start using my APIs, okay? And as a result, like even organizations that a priori you would think have no reason not to have open APIs, government, my bank, they don't have open APIs. So the way I think about the opportunity, therefore, around blockchain composability and all the nice things we talk about in the context, for example, of Sweet, is that by default, when you expose your API as a smart contract on a blockchain, you, in effect, define a safe API and a composably safe API for other people to use, right? When I define a smart contract that deals with, let's say, in the case of water, storage resources, while as a token, blobs and their life cycles, the actions that are defined through that smart contract form an API that, that creates a safe space effectively to act on, on Walrus as a storage system with all the authentication authorization and, and constraints that make it safe integrated into the smart contract. Therefore, now to allow an agent, an AI agent to, to run loose on that API with a particular authority of, of someone who owns some of these assets or not is safe for me. There is no way for that agent to do something that is not safe for me. There is no way for that agent to start defining, let's say, compositions between that and other things like SWNS or coins or whatever that creates something unsafe, okay? So it's the perfect layer if you want to expose a lot of functionality because both it forces you to, to actually have an open API and two, you can encode safety rules in that in smart contracts and then make sure that even if the AI goes a bit wrong, you're still good.